Friends, today through this video, we are going to learn that how we can do connection of a IP camera with a NBR. So how to do whole connection of this camera, I am going to explain you in detail. This camera here will do the recording and after recording, footage which is generated is stored by this NBR. It means inside this NBR, there is a hard disk in which whole data is stored. For connection of this NVR, from this camera, we connect a cable and at the back side of NVR, there is a port, this one. This is known as PoE port. PoE means power over Ethernet. It means it provides power supply as well as it transfers the data also. Now understand one more thing here, cable which we use here, which type of cable is this? This cable you can see here is known as Ethernet cable. And we use this cable only for connection of IP camera. So you can use this cable. If you don't want to use this cable, then in this condition, CAT6 cable also you can use. Like this cable you can see here, with this cable already RJ45 connector is connected. Similarly with the end of this cable, we will connect RJ45 connector. So if you want, you can use Ethernet cable or if you want, you can use CAT6 cable also. For now, I used Ethernet cable here for connection. The way we did connection of IP camera with NBR, similarly we will do connection of other IP camera with NBR. It means cable from this camera will be connected here. Cable of this camera will be connected here. And similarly we will do connection of this camera with this port. Friends you can notice one thing here, in this NBR only 8 ports are given. If you have more cameras to connect, then in this condition you have to use PoE switch. It means PoE switch which is given inside this, this same switch you can use separately for connection of other cameras. Working of this PoE switch is to bring the data from the camera and along with this to operate camera it will provide power supply to the camera. Like if you have seen my previous video on CCTV camera, in that video I used DVR. If we use DVR then in this condition we have to provide power supply to the camera separately. But if we use NVR, then in this condition, to all the IP camera, we don't have to provide power supply separately for each one. Through this cable, power is supplied and through this same cable only, footage of the camera is transferred to this NVR and stored. So I have a separate PoE switch. Using this, I will tell you the connection of remaining camera. If you have more number of camera, then using PoE switch, you can do connection for each one. So what I will do, this camera here, bring cable from this camera and I am connecting with this port. Similarly bring cable of this camera and connect with this point. Now bring cable of this camera and connect with this port. Ok this camera here, I am connecting this also with PoE switch. So I am removing this connection. And after removing, bring the cable to the PoE switch and with the first port here, connect with this port. Now with this PoE switch, all the camera are connected. After this, what we have to do to this PoE switch, we have to provide power supply. To provide power supply, I am using switchboard. With this switchboard, we will connect a adapter. Take wire of the adapter and in this PoE switch, at the back side, a point is given to connect adapter. With this, connect the adapter. There is a pin over there, connect with that. Now this PoE switch we have, I mean power over ethernet switch, we will do connection of this switch with NBR. For connection of this PoE switch, by using the Ethernet cable in this NBR, at the back side there is a port. With this port, we will connect this. Among all these ports, you can connect with anyone. There is no problem. You just have to be careful only about this cable here. Here separately uplink is written, you have to connect cable with this. Below all these ports, PoE is written and below these uplink is written. Where uplink is written, you have to connect cable there. It means we have to do connection of NBR with uplink. So after this much connection to this NBR also, we have to provide power supply. For providing power supply, I am using a plug top here. With this plug top, I am connecting a cable and with this pin here, I am connecting this cable. Now after this much connection, camera will record a footage. And after recording, it will store the whole data in NBR. Now if you want that recording which is going on, you want to see this, then for this you have to use monitor. And for connection of monitor, at the back side of NVR, you can see there are two ports. Here is HDMI port and here is VGA port. Among these two ports, using any one, you can do the connection of your monitor. You have to see for connection of your monitor, which type of port is given. 
if in your monitor this type of port is given then in this condition you have to use HDMI cable this cable here this is known as HDMI cable besides at the back side of monitor if this type of connector is given then in this condition you have to use VGA cable so as per the type of port you can do the selection of cable after selection of cable do the connection for connection what you have to do simply is HDMI port here or VGA port here with this port connect the cable and connect other end at the back side of monitor after this much connection you can watch recordings in your monitor for now I used VGA cable and did the connection after connection to operate the monitor we have to provide power supply also for providing power supply what I will do with this switchboard here I am connecting a plug top which is connected with the monitor it means I provided power supply to the monitor and after providing power supply in this monitor we can watch the recordings now in this monitor some programming is also required like some settings are required selection of footage for all these we need a mouse take wire of this mouse and with the USB port here connect this wire it means with two ports here with this we can connect mouse or we can connect the pen drive also if you want any data or you want to store any data in pen drive then connecting pen drive directly here you can store the recordings in this now after this what we have to do all these recordings here if we want to watch all these in our phone then for this this NVR here we have to connect this NVR with internet for connecting NVR with internet we have to use a router at the back side of this router there is a port with this port we will connect a cable and with this LAN port in NVR connect this cable it means directly connect router with LAN port now to this router also we have to provide power supply for providing power supply take adapter of router bring cable of the adapter and connect here directly it means with the pin for connecting power supply we will connect this cable directly so after this much connection through the IP camera whatever footage is recorded we can watch this directly in monitor along with this we can watch recordings in our smartphone also so we do all the connections of these IP camera in this way but if you have a normal camera then in this condition you have to do connection with DVR and you want to learn how to do connection of this camera with DVR then for this I already made a whole video if you want to watch this video then click on the right hand side video to watch friends I hope you like this video if you like this video then please give like share and comment on this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thanks for watching this video